Hi, thanks for joining me today. We have an exciting product that everyone in the business world is claiming that they have. Yet somehow, like a 1996 Tickle Me Elmo, it seems it's a little more elusive than people think. My name is Richard Fearley. thanks for joining me today. Today, we are gonna be unboxing the fundamental state of leadership. Let's get to it, shall we? Oh man, see this, every time I get a product like this, it always bothers me. It's, this one especially is full of the normal state, the comfort centered, AKA not wanting to deal with things. Externally driven, allowing yourself to be evaluated based on external circumstances, what I can get, what people think of me, self-focused, your ego, and internally closed, of course. See, the thing is, it's uh, as much as I hate to admit it, it's mostly the ego thing that tends to get to me. You know, I fight it, and it's a losing battle sometimes, but you continue to have to push back, because without that, you're never going to get to the fundamental state of leadership. There's actually a warning here on this. It says, uh, warning, do not ingest the normal state. May cause a slow death of work and personal life. Um, we're just going to throw this away. Interesting. Now that we've gotten past the normal state, it almost looks as though it's got fog in it or something. There's got to be more to this. Hold on. Uh, it's so this is adaptive confidence this is very similar to what my wife and I did when we made the decision to go back to school for our masters in business to help fulfill our career in acting two seemingly diff different things but if you are purpose centered and keep that goal in mind you adapt as you move forward you also need the confidence to do that and especially with a bold change but the ability to do that as you move forward is absolutely critical. Now this can be terrifying. I know it was unsettling for me to go back to school for something other than pounding pavement. But at the same time, if you move forward, the road may have a few twists and turns in it, but you will move forward. And the thing is, I'm not glued to this path. I have ambitions for social media, for owning my own business potentially. But if at any point I assess these and decide that this isn't gonna allow me to create the art, the meaningful art that I want to do in my life, then I can change the path. I will adjust the bridge as I'm building it towards a different direction to get me to where I want to go. And that is the adaptive confidence. Well, now that all that's cleared up, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, here's something that most Americans will struggle with. Tea. Well, not tea really, but the time to step back and, and be reflective, to think about your purpose, your direction, the choices you're making, and whether they're the right ones or not instead of just continually pushing forward. Now, reflective action doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't work hard, but just take a minute to step back every now and then and evaluate before putting your nose back onto the grindstone. Like many Americans, I find myself pushing for more work in the week for that paycheck or trying to ensure that my job is done correctly. But the caveat with that is you end up falling into the ruthless hero syndrome, wherein you feel as though that by pushing more and more you're helping, but when in reality you're holding back those around you and hurting them more than you realize. One of the big things that I've been able to do more and more is step back and just have good conversations with my wife deep meaningful things reflecting everything from music to politics to uh, artistic endeavors and the benefit here is when you do act after that it is that much more meaningful because of the reflection It is that much more powerful once you have done that well I mean I guess it all sounds good right but you don't really have to, do you? It's, it's, well, let's just move on. So, what we have next here is... <laughs> See, I knew this was going to happen and come back and bite me. This is your integrity gap. And, well, as you can see, mine's a little open after being a little dismissive of the reflective half of reflective action. See, 
the thing is, you need to acknowledge these things and not dismiss them. Much in the same way that a vacation can energize and refresh you, reflective action can do that every day. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> See? Closed up a little bit. That's sweet. Uh, speaking of sweet, it was actually really awesome. Uh, work the other day, they uh, had a couple people call out at one of our other stores and we're looking for volunteers to go help. And I was like, well, I mean, you know, no one was jumping at the gun, so I said, hey, if you throw in a free lunch, I'll go take care of that for you. Well, they went ahead and did it, and it says there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? Oh, there's, uh, there's that integrity gap again. I see, you see, that's the problem with it, is you have to constantly reevaluate whether what you're actually doing is what you espouse that you believe. Because otherwise, it's hypocrisy, the true enemy of the fundamental state of leadership. And the problem is, we're all hypocritical. So you have to keep an eye on that. I mean, what I should have done was just done it for the team. When the team had its time of need, rather than being self-fulfilling with the free lunch, which cheapened and almost completely negated the sacrifice of traveling to the other location, I should have done it to help the team. And that would have been a much grander gesture. Well, thanks for the lunch, Bobby. Oh, see? That helped after all. You just have to continually acknowledge and look at those integrity gaps and see if you're actually helping them out or not. Well, let's see what else we got. Ah, here we go. The four pieces of the fundamental state of leadership. Purpose-centered. Unwavering standards pursuant to a meaningful task. When we ask ourselves, what do I want to create? Other focused. Putting ego aside and truly putting the common good ahead of self-interests. I mean, I can have a hard time with this. I and mean, just look at the lunch episode, sheesh. Externally open. We move out of our comfort zone through experimentation, seeking feedback and adapting in real time to circumstances. And last, internally directed. Continual examination of our integrity gaps and ever decreasing hypocrisy. And these guys together make up the fundamental state of leadership. Now it's more self-reflection than anyone really wants to do, but I can promise you that this product will make massive changes in your life as long as you let it. And there you go. Even after all of that work, it isn't permanent. The fundamental state of leadership is just a temporary psychological state in which you operate at a much more purpose-driven and centered cognitive process. The silver lining here though is that once you get past the normal state and enter the fundamental state of leadership, it becomes easier each time to get back to it. It's like you have a roadmap in your head. So get to it. So thanks for joining me today for unboxing the fundamental state of leadership inspired by the book, Building the Bridges You Walk On It by Robert E. Quinn. If you enjoyed the video, let us know right down there. You can also share this video with someone who you feel needs a little bit of direction and purpose. I know we can all use that sometimes. If you have any comments about anything we discussed today, any of the topics or any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments and check out our blog, thefearleys.wordpress.com, where you can find out a lot more about living life creatively. Well, I'm Richard Fearley with Penguin Partners Productions. Cheers.